Hi everyone, hope you're doing well from whatever you're watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, we are still on the issue of financial bill 2023. I said we will talk about this until when this matters will be set to rest. We are discussing about this bill because it is going to affect you. It is going to affect me. So it is for you and me. But our elected leaders are going to discuss that bill. Because those are the people whom we elected to represent us on some of these matters. So they are here to represent us on this bill. That now when it will come out, we will see how it is affecting us. Ukienda kununua mafuta pale ya kupika, unalipa ushuru. Ukienda kununua mafuta, eh, mafuta ya kerosini ya kutumia kwa kupika, na wale watu wa kijiji wanya wana sistema natumia kwa kuweka kwa taa, kwa kuona, you pay. Uwele kununua mkate huko, you are paying for all these things. That is the truth. So we will discuss this one until this bill has passed or it has been blocked or it has been amended. So yesterday, Okia Omtata was on NTV. It was live interview. And Okia Omtata revealed the division in Kenya Kwanza. It is a silent division, but it tells you that really there is no peace in Kenya Kwanza. And the reason why William Ruto came out so much angrily to lectures to lecture members of parliament who are in Kenya Kwanza on matters to do with the, this financial bill. Seemingly it's like there is division of views. People are feeling that this bill is not friendly to the people they represent. These members of parliament are not supportive of that bill. Wachana na mambo ya Gashagwa, achana na mambo ya Ichungwa, achana na mambo ya watu kama yule senator wa, 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 wa Nandi, Kiraregei, hawa wanawangea mambo yao. Most of members of parliament are not supporting this bill, but they are afraid to face off Ruto. So, these members of parliament reached out to Kiyomu Tata, because they know he's pushing this matter through the court, and they're telling him to push this thing. Some went to an extent of even contributing their own money to help Okio Mutata on in processing that case when it comes to paperwork and all those logistics that is needed to make sure that this case is in court at the right time. And yes, Okio Mutata is financed through this issue. And this is what Okio Mutata is revealing to Kenyans. Listen to him shortly. When you are a small man, 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 you are a small Lakini mkitu kikubwa ni kwamba ni katiba ya Kenya. Mm -hmm. Inaenda vipi? Na ninashukuru kuungwa mkono na azimio kwa sababu hili jambo sio jambo la kisiasa. Na wacha nikwambie sio azimio peke yake. Wabunge wengi wa Kenya kwanza wamekuja kwangu wakasema <laughs> kila nani hao? Siwezi kuwataja. <laughs> Siwezi kuwataja. Unaona atapigwa vita baridi. Hata, hata kuna mmoja. <laughs> <laughs> Tena ni mtu ambaye ni mstari wa mbele sana Kenya kwanza. <laughs> Amekuja kwangu leo na shilingi 1000 akanipata kasema mtoto wangu mimi nichangie. Kama ile photocopy ulifanya wacha nikulipie. Sababu umetuokoa kutoka <laughs> pale pagumu. So ukiambia atapiga kura kivipi sababu rais jana aliwaambia na nasubiri kuona nani atapiga kura labda hata siji bila atapiga. Mm -hmm. Lakini mm -hmm. Na kueleza kwa na bilo kwa raisa na kuwa mkali mm. Ina manisha nyumba e kenya kwanza haiko na ye mm. Tata nasema unyini Musiponi fata mutawana cha mutamakuni Now we are continuing with the back in the description But that's a quick request for those who are watching And you are not subscribed Please please consider subscribing To our channel subscribers and master Thank you so much and again to all our viewers Please give this video A thumbs up Thank you so much and back to this discussion now, if you listen to Regatha Gashagwa when you talk about Mwishimiwa Rais, alikuwa tuni mbunge mmoja huko wa Mount Kenya wenye alikuwa nakuja kupinga mshuwada yako, lakini wabunge wengi wako na wewe, Gashagwa was lying to William Ruto. These are some of the people that Baba Wina was talking about being surrounded by advisors who are fools. They end up making you a foolish leader. Kashagwa has made William Ruto a foolish leader because he's a fool. He lied to William Ruto that members of parliament in Mount Kenya are supporting that bill. The statement or 
nataka ni kwambie kitu moja when you hear okay mtata talking okay mtata cannot lie this is one man if you talk about truthful man is one ile akashagua ni drama so ukisikia akisema hivyo anasema ukweli wa maneno Kiyo mtata is a god fearing man a straight forward man a man who always stand with the truth that's why you will see him he's neither in Kenya kwanza or Azimio when he finds that Azimio are doing the right thing he support that's why even he went even to an extent of being part of the case presidential ile petition in the court because he believed that Raila Odinga won election so it's like that independent minded so the truth is that Uh, Gazoni wa mchomba armeni si mmoja tu Ichungo would say ah hata Gazoni wa mchomba anasoma hiyo bill hajui vile inakaa na anakuja tukuongea anafanya Gazoni wa msamba anaonekana ni kama ni mjinga foolish advisors ni kama kimani shungwa so they make ruto a ah, foolish leader they are full advisors they are foolish team. they are full team so hapo ndio hako sasa enda waangalie wale wabunge wanatoka Western Region. Ruto should be ask himself why is it that members of parliament from Western are silent about this bill? Yojimo Amalu not Yojimo Amalu did the masparaza. Who has been very vocal? Why is he silent about this bill? Are you ngele? Akina waluke Ben Wanyam. Name all of these people. They are silent about this bill. Hata huyu lawyer wa hapa Sabati, mwenye alipigwa kwa alipigwa kwa chama ya UDA. He's not comfortable with that that thing is not selling in Western. So, you see, already members of parliament from Western are not comfortable with this bill. So they are silent about it. It means possibility of them voting against it is there. And that is what is angering William Samuel Ruto. That's what has angered him. So he come out, give lecture, intimidation. Na yeye si mtu kwa bunge, yeye si mbunge, awachana na mambo ya kuleta vitisho kwa wanawana wa bunge. Akae kwa exact huko ndo kwa kazi yake iko. Awachana na bunge kabisa this independent mind, they should do their work. He's, he should be requesting, not order. Order apeleke kwa wale wale walimpigia kura, awape hizo order kwa ajili na mabunge mabunge hao wafanye kazi kulingana na vile wananchi wale waliowapigia kura wanataka so kama ndio anaza lecture watu wakuja lecture wananchi walimpigia kura kama kweli hako na uwezo wa kufanya hivyo lakini mabunge hao wakupigia yeye kura so tell you that the reason why Ruto was there making that noise and the threats is because he's learning that members of parliament from western are not supporting his bill they are not comfortable with it So he's coming to issue threats go to mount kenya the zone of mchomba came out and we saw what happened insult intimidation frustration warnings threats were all directed towards her they are abusing her just because she went out reached out to an inch listen to them and the video were open people got to know what the people are talking about on the ground they were off no it was never the shown a gazon wa mshomba who said no she listened to the people and they said no and then she was carrying that information bringing it to the national assembly her work is to represent them if they say no who is she to say yes so ruto realized that many members of parliament in mount kenya are not supporting that idea because of that the only way to start stopping them so now they will not come out boldly to stand their ground with the people is to start this issue of intimidation so gazoni wa mchomba wenye amekuwa intimidated ni wengi sana it's not one na wale wa wakora wenye wanaka karibu na ruto hawataki kumwambia ukweli ndio wanamwambia tu alikuwa huyo mmoja no The same way members of parliament and the western are not comfortable with this issue. Wale wako kwa Kenya kwanza. So ongelewa azimio. Azimio they have made their way clear. Akina Pila Selassie wamesema na wengine wengi. So wale wa Kenya kwanza in the western region. 
They're not for that bill. It's the same thing in the Mount Kenya region. Kuna wale wengi sana na hata ni kwambie. Hii bill ukiangalia vizuri na mwanza tarua alisema, iko na mpango mzima wa kuumiza wale wana biashara wengi sana sana na wanatoka Mount Kenya region. So kama kuna watu wataumizwa hapa sana are people from Mount Kenya region. They will pay dearly for this bill. Kwanza kwa importation, ukuja kwa all other things. Running your own business. The amount of money you will be paying to the government in terms of taxes. Hmm. So they are learning that their people are going to suffer in a big way. That's why they are not comfortable. But they can't come out boldly. They are speaking about it and you can see they are trying to reach out to Okio Mutata in a chili amajit. We are with you in this thing. But the issue is that members of parliament should make a decision between betraying the electorate and betraying William Ruto. They have to make that decision and ask themselves one question. Between William Ruto and the electorate, who determine the person who will be the next members of parliament? Ni nani anafanya uamuzi wa kutagua wewe mbunge? Ni wale wananchi wa kupiga kura ama ni Ruto mwenye kusteta house mwenye anapeana vitisho kwa wabunge members of parliament have to make this decision they must vote against William Ruto's position on this bill they must shoot it down it should never go through and if it has to they have to amend it where they see that mwana inja na finger warekebisha so that it will be a fair it will be a win for executive and a win for mwana inja hatu katai mwana inja watuwa za usuru ni yake ya Eh, serikali kutoa wananchi ushuru so that waleta maendeleo na kazi fanyike lakini ule ushuru usikuwa wa kugandamiza wananchi usikuwa wa kugandamiza uchumi this financial bill is going to frustrate the economy of this country it is going to frustrate the economy it should never 